अगर जरोदा आज शुरू हुआ there is no way i could build as bootstrapped see her business grow nahi kar sakta what you need to understand is money brings obligation there be handful of startups who have reached more than 10 million dollars in revenue but there are thousands of startups which are you know which are valued at 100 million dollars and over right before you go chop wood sharpen your axe hi guys mera naam hai sahil khan aur swagat hai aapka is series ke agle part ke andar aur aaj hamare sath mein wo founder hai जिनको मैं नहीं बहुत सारे फाउंडर कहते हैं कि वो इस टाइम पे सबसे बढ़िया काम कर रहे हैं इंडिया के अंदर तो चलिए जानते हैं उनसे उनके बारे में मेरे को पता है टाइटल वाइटल में हमने पढ़ लिया है कि किसका चल रहा है पर जानते हैं जिनको नहीं पता उनके बारे में दिस इज नितिन आई एम द फाउंडर एंड सी ऑफ जरो लार्जेस्ट स्टॉक ब्रोकिंग फॉर्म इन इंडिया और भी बता देता हूँ इन्होंने बहुत कम बताया अपने बारे में अभी रिसेंटली एक लिस्ट निकली थी जहाँ पे बताया गया था जो टॉप यूनिकॉर्नस है उसके अंदर तीन ही प्रॉफिटेबल है तो सेकेंड हाइएस्ट प्रॉफिटेबल यूनिकॉर्न स्टार्टअप इन्हीं की है तो बहुत हम्बली इन्होंने बता दिया वी आर डूइंग दिस बहुत कुछ कर रहे हैं वीडियो थोड़ी सी इंग्लिश में रहेगी मैं आपको एक्सप्लेन करता जाऊंगा टॉपिक के बाद में ताकि आपको समझ में आता रहे क्योंकि मैं चाहता हूं ये नॉलेज जो बताने वाले हैं ये मासेस तक जाए हर बंदे को पता होना चाहिए कि ये बिजनेस कैसे करा जाता है आज मेरे को लगता है कि इंडिया के अंदर गली गली में बिजनेस बैठा है हर एक बंदा बिजनेस कर रहा है पर इन्होंने ऐसा अलग क्या किया है आज इनसे हम जानेंगे आई वॉज अ स्टॉक मार्केट ट्रेडर मैंने जो मार्केट में ट्रेडिंग करते हैं ना सो आई स्टार्टेड मैन आई सेवनटीन और एटीन सो दिस वॉज बैक इन द लेट नाइन्टीज उसके बाद यू नो आई क्रिएटेड अ बंच ऑफ दिस ऑनलाइन कम्युनिटीज जैसे तुम क्रिएट कर रहे हो अपने बिजनेस का ऐसे यू नो याहू मैसेंजर पे और कुट पे वगैरह Uh, I I blew up once. I worked in a call center for three four years uh, between 2001 to 2005. But uh, like during the whole period, I I used to actively trade. So market se bahut, you know, laga hota, whatever you said. Uh, so 2005, uh, I quit my job and I started an advisory business, portfolio advisory business. उसके बाद मेरा छोटा भाई ने मुझे ज्वाइन किया. So he also is a, he's a better trader than I am. जो trading में he's a much better trader. सो अराउंड टू थाउजेंड एट नाइन ये आइडिया आया कि अगर वो ट्रेडिंग में मुझसे अच्छा है तो वाई डजेंट ही ट्रेड वाई कैंड आई फोकस ऑन बिल्डिंग अ ब्रोकिंग फॉर्म सो इस आइडिया से जरोदा शुरू हुआ कि जो हमें ट्रेडर्स जैसे लाइक यू नो वॉट वी डेंट गेट एज अ ऑफरिंग फ्राम अ ब्रोकर कैन वी बिल्ड इट आवर सेल्स राइट एंड सो जब बिजनेस शुरू हुआ तो देर टू प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट्स वन था कि वेरी एक्टिव ट्रेडर्स के लिए इंडिया में द ब्रोकरेज वॉज वेरी हाई राइट right? जब एक्टिव ट्रेडिंग करते हो तो ब्रोकरेज इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैं एवरी ट्रेड पे परसेंटेज ब्रोकरेज होता था राइट सो सो इसलिए हमने यू नो स्टार्टेड विद द फ्लैट फीस पर ट्रेड कि जितना भी साइज हो ब्रोकर आई मीन ट्रेड का विल चार्ज ट्वेंटी रुपीज पर ट्रेड सो इट वॉज वेरी यूनिक आइडिया इन इंडिया बट इंटरनेशनली इट वॉज वेरी पॉपुलर है ना इंटरनेशनली ये फ्लैट फी पर ट्रेड मॉडल वॉज आई थिंक अर्ली नाइनटीन नाइन्टीज से शुरू हुआ सो देर वॉज नथिंग इनोवेटिव रेट देर Um, so second thing, um, we, what we are trying to address was around transparency. A financial services firm, me, you know, are, are generally very opaque. I mean, opaque means, you know, किसी को पता नहीं लगता क्या charges है. If you take your credit card statement and try to figure how much you have actually paid as interest, it's almost impossible to find, right? So, so we said we want to be a platform which is very transparent. जो लोगों को जो भी जानना है, they should be able to easily find it. Right. Um, so, ये दो पॉइंट से वी स्टार्ट द बिजनेस नो एंड टूडे द बिजनेस इज इवॉल्व इन टू समथिंग एल्स लेकिन जब हमने शुरू किया था टू थाउजेंड टेन में हमने सोचा था कि जो एक्टिव ट्रेडर है यू नो लाइक मेरा फर्स्ट जो रफ सा बिजनेस प्लान बना था उसमें मैंने अपना बिजनेस का बेस्ट केस आउटकम लगाया था कि हंड्रेड थाउजेंड कस्टमर्स मैंने एक लाख से कभी सोचा नहीं था उससे नो एंड आज हम एक करोड़ कस्टमर पे है राइट एज एंड सो द बिजनेस इज इवॉल्व आफ्टर दैट बहुत सारे लकी ब्रेक्स भी मिले यू नो इस बिजनेस में सो बट या बट बट द आइडिया ऑफ स्टार्टिंग जरूर था वो उसकी जो वेरी एक्टिव ट्रेडर्स है उनके लिए अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म यू नो लो कॉस्ट पे ऑफर करने की जीरोधा नाम कैसे आया था एक्चुअली जरोदा इज जीरो एंड रोदा रोदा संस्कृत में बैरियर है जैसे हिंदी में रोद बैरियर है तो सो वॉट वी वर ट्राइंग टू पुट रे विद द नेम वॉज टू से दैट वील ट्राई रिमूविंग ऑल बैरियर फॉर ट्रेडर्स जो जीरो रोदा ऐसे है ना सो क्योंकि ब्रोकिंग जो फाइनेंस बिजनेस में ना दे यूज मनी इन देर नेम यू नो मनी वेल्थ सिक्योरिटी एक्सेट्रा लेकिन यू नो मार्केट में अ प्लेटफॉर्म कॉन्ट रियली हेल्प यू मेक मनी राइट जो पैसा बनाना खुद बनाना है 
right? A platform can just enable you to make money, right? So, so even with our name, we wanted to stay true to what we believe as a business, which is that, you know, um, we were trying to solve for the problem, which is to remove all barriers people had, traders had, right? So, I mean, difference are normal, like in, you know, you know, calm, calm career, right? So, starting with someone said that you are Sanskrit and English, you are making a name, uh, you use something else, ऐसा कुछ क्योंकि जब एक बार ब्रांड बन जाता है फिर नाम कुछ भी वो मैटर नहीं करता करेक्ट करेक्ट राइट और स्टार्टिंग के अंदर ऐसा कुछ नहीं बोलता था कोई नहीं सी द फर्स्ट नाम जो मैंने सोचा था इट वाज एफिशिएंट ट्रेडिंग सिस्टम ईटीएस करके लेकिन इट वाजंट इट वाजंट साउंडिंग रियल और नाम सोचते समय आल्सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन टुडेस वर्ल्ड कि यू नो कुछ आईपी हो उसका राइट कोई और Use not do it, like, you know, because your SEO, you know, it all depends on that, right? So, we didn't want to take a standard name out there. So, we wanted to have an acronym. I mean, what does an acronym mean? It's a unique name, right? As in, so, at least, SEO may help. If you are a broker something today, you will search for money. If you search for money, you know, you will not get your site on Google, right? So, because... People will get distracted. So I think in business, having a unique name helps. You know, I mean, what name itself kya hai, it doesn't matter. You know, I mean, if the business is good, the product is good. I don't think name really matters because I personally think Zeroda is a very tough name on the tongue. Because right? you know, both weird sa hai, you know, on your tongue, right? Because there are not a lot of Z words in India. Indian languages mein Z ka, you know, there's not too much of use. Uh, and Z and Da, it's a, it's a weird combination. I didn't think so much, when, you know, because, uh, you know, we were applying for a PAN card and I had three, four choices, the, so I had to quickly do something. So, you know, uh, I, I like the idea of zero in the name. So, you know, uh, so yeah, so I mean, that's how we went with it. You know. Okay. So, how did you scale? You had idea, you had to register your product, you had to market the product. So, how did you scale? Initially, growth is how? So, initially, the first two, three years, I mean, see, the important thing to understand is that our business, so customers, our money and securities, you know, in a way, they keep it with us. So, in a way, we are like a bank. So, trust, you know, is very important, right? Because, like, you know, like, will you go keep money in, say, Amanat Cooperative Bank because they give you 15% on fixed deposit? You may not, right? Because if you want to deposit money, you want to be with HDFC, ICAC, etc. So for us, in our business, the biggest challenge when you started the business was also that, which is, trust can develop. So more than going and distributing, you know, the first idea was to build trust. So yeah, so the first one, two years, what helped was, one was when I was in a call center, I used to do telemarketing. So, you know, I used to call US and sell, you know, everything, you know, like mobile phones, you know, DVDs and stuff like that. So I had a lot of telemarketing background. So the, the first one, two years, I did a lot of telesales. Um, so I had, you know, active traders' ka database. Tha. Uh, you know, I used to call them up and, and, and then, you know, and, and, and try to sell. Uh, I was also very active. Just I mean, I had a, a community before. Like, you know, just say you have your YouTube community, right? Like that, I had on Yahoo Messenger and Orkut. So in communities, pe I started talking about Zeroda, right? And not as Nitin, in communities, my identity was very pseudo. In the sense, uh, it was not Nitin. You know, I, I, I used to call myself Tarzan in some places. I used to call Columbus in some places. So people didn't know it was the CEO of Zeroda saying it. But I, I found subtle ways to, you know, plug Zeroda into some of these communities. So the first two, three thousand customers were very hard, you know. Uh, because uh, the first 100, 200 was very easy because these were all friends, family. I mean, I mean, these are people I knew. But from 200 to 2000 to 5000 was very tough. But then I think we got a lucky break in September 5th, 2011. Um, I mean, this was one year, one month into the business. Uh, Economic Times, ne, ek article, you know, they wrote an article saying discount broking and there is this company called Zeroda doing it in India. Uh, that one article gave a lot of credibility to us, you know, because... Why uh, was it not sponsored or anything? Nothing, nothing. Economic time. I mean, see, what you're doing, this was late 2016, ke baat ki hai, you know, YouTube and fin influencers, etc. Back in early 2000s, uh, till I think 2016-17, press was traditional media. You know, if economic times came in, then it's as good as an influencer today talking about it, or, you know, much better, right? So, 
Yeah, no, this is not, there was no concept of sponsored articles, you know. I mean, this is all a very newer, you know, kind of trend. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Economic Times, I, I don't think those advertorials be, you know, is a very recent phenomenon, you know, it was not there before. Uh, so, yeah, so I mean, it was, you no, know, their article had generally about the concept of discount broking. Mm -hmm. And they had a small thing saying there is this one company in India which is doing it. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, I think we were opening 100, 200 accounts a month. Uh, I think 200, 300, and suddenly that became 500 to 700 accounts a month. When I, it, it average kya volume was thi? Matlab earning kya thi us time pe? I mean, I see the thing is, our business mein, there are two types of volumes, right? One is the value of the trading. Hmm. Value se hume kuch matlab nahi hai because we don't charge a percentage brokerage. Agar percentage kiya to, you know, that value matters. Hmm. For us, what matters is how many trades, hmm. right? So uh, the first one year, to be very honest, we were struggling. Right, because uh, at that time, what really helped was my younger brother sitting and trading. Because our parallel income was that my little brother was sitting, you know, who market trade karta tha, no? So that income really helped us survive the first one year. Otherwise, we would have been forced to go raise money. Right, but but the second year we started, you know, there was enough money to kind of run the business just based on the broking income. Um, I think we did like a two and a half crores of revenue. I mean, two and a half, three crores of revenue in the second year, you know, from the broking business itself. But then, you know, we were very frugal. I mean, our, uh, you know, when we started the business, it was me, Nikhil. There is uh, Venu who was there with me, you know, who heads our operations now. You know, he, wo mere saath, you know, he's been working with me from, you know, we've been working together from 2006. Hanan, he came to Zeroda, I mean, came to us to learn trading in 2007. So he takes care of his support. Samir, who takes care of risk management, he came to us in 2007. So, five people were And oh, the first one year, we were just five, six. I think we became seven, eight members. Now, we added people very slowly. Our uh, office, tha, this was my office from 2005, six. So, there was no cost. So, we didn't spend any money at all on, on, on the running the business. The, the operational costs were very low. And we have never spent customer acquisition. Ke liye, we have never spent money. Right? As in, we have never done an ad, we have never done a marketing exercise. I mean, like a direct marketing. Of course, you know, I mean, if I'm talking about here, in a way we are doing marketing, but, but jo, you know, Google ko ad dena, paisa dena, or face paid. Paid ad kabhi kiya nahi, you know. So, because this business has a problem, aisa hai, I think India has a business ko problem, aisa hai, ki agar tum 3-4,000 rupay karch karo ye ek customer ke liye, utna kamana bahut mushkil hai India mein, right? Because, you know, revenue generate karna in India mein is, is, is really, really tough. Right? So, ye understanding mujhe pehle sa ta, kyunki trading mein aur ek problem aisa hai ki jo active traders hote hai na, jab market, you know, if it goes against you, wo inactive ban jata jaldi. Right? So, for example, you know, you started trading with say 50,000 rupees. Abhi ye 50,000 became 40,000 rupees. You will stop trading. You will say, you know, nee, you know, chhod do, you know, no point. Now the problem is, you know, if you spent 3,000 rupees to acquire that customer and you only generated 200 rupees brokerage, the business can go nowhere, right? So now the problem, other problem is if you spend 3,000 rupees to acquire a customer, you know, as a business, the problem is like, then you will st always keep thinking, how do I recover this 3,000 rupees, right? And, you know, if you start thinking like that, you will end up doing things which are not right for the customer, right? I mean, ye, throughout our journey of Zeroda, I think, the main reason for the success of business is because we've always kept customer at the center. I mean, lots of business say that the customer is at the center, hai, but <coughs> in our business, we have truly kind of kept him in the center. Kabhi ek bar bhi humne customer ko ek message nahi beja ki ye buy karo, ye sell karo. Agar, agar aaj, kal, you know, if tomorrow morning I send one message, uh, our, we will generate a few crores of revenue, right? But we have never sent it because we know that that's not the right thing to do. So as a, you know, like, you know, if you go to our education initiative called Varsity, right, which is maybe in the third or fourth largest education initiative in the world, uh, there is ad nahi hai. Hai millions of people have registered on Varsity. We have never sent email to those guys saying open an account with Zeroda. This is our truly education initiative. So we said we don't want to have conflict. We don't want people to think we are educated because I need an account. Chahiye. Right? So, I mean, these are the kind of philosophies because of which we have been able to build trust with the customer, you know, so, uh, but, but coming back to your original question, well, the first one, two years was generally mera jo historical, you know, mera background tha, jo online communities and etc. Wahan pe leverage karke, we got to our first five, 10,000 customers, 
एंड देन एक बार वो जो इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स का आर्टिकल आया उस उसके बाद पीपल स्टार्ट ओपनिंग अकाउंट्स आउटसाइड दिस यू नो वट एवर माई टारगेट मार्केट वॉज यू नो से तो स्केल कैसे हो रहा था उसके बाद में आर्टिकल के बाद आर्टिकल आई मीन इतना भी स्केल नहीं था आई मीन स्केल वॉज लाइक नो थ्री हंड्रेड फोर हंड्रेड अकाउंट बिकेम आई मीन टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड अकाउंट बिकेम लाइक फोर फाइव हंड्रेड सिक्स हंड्रेड अकाउंट नो आई मीन इट्स नॉट लाइक तब स्केल नहीं आया स्केल हमारा आया था इज इज रियली ओनली आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन क्योंकि जो हमारे बिजनेस में ना द बिग प्रॉब्लम फॉर आज यूज टू बी कि जब वन समन डिसाइड्स टू ओपन एन अकाउंट जब द फर्स्ट फाइव सिक्स इवर्स ऑफ द बिजनेस यू हैव टू साइन अ थर्टी पेज डॉक्यूमेंट फोर्टी सिग्नेचर्स प्रिंट करो साइन करो कुरियर करो राइट ओनली इफ ऑल ऑफ दैट यू आर विलिंग टू डू एज अ कस्टमर यू कूड ओपन एन अकाउंट सो यू कैन इमेजिन कितना ड्रॉप ऑफ हो रहा था राइट सो टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन में जब आधार आया एंड यू नो आधार फॉर ऑन बोर्डिंग जिस आधार से के वाई सी करो ई साइन करो वेर अकाउंट ओपनिंग फ्रॉम वेंट फ्रॉम फिजिकल टू डिजिटल तब हमारा यू नो ऑल द स्केल रियली स्टार्टेड दैन सो टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन डिसम्बर वी वर सिक्सटी So the first five six years of the business, we got to sixty thousand customers. The next five six years, we have added almost ninety five lakh customers. You know, like not even ninety nine lakh customers, right? So the growth really happened. When onboarding was, so the India stack, which is our, you know, Aadhaar, as in especially, has been a very, you know, important reason for the success of our business. Because, not only if a paper document was there, so there is no way we could have grown. right because you know ek account open karne ke liye you know it used to take us like 2 weeks and etc right now it takes 10 minutes to open an account so usse pehle profitable tha yeah business was profitable right from the first year right so that's because we were always we never spent on advertising uh, we never over hired right mane hiring always was kyunki our ek you know i think a lot of businessmen think ki agar You know, you throw people at problems, you can solve problems. I mean, generally, the mind me aye aata na. If I, if I go and hire ten people, somehow my problem will solve, right? People don't solve problems. I mean, more people complicate problems. You know, so, right? But traditional businesses in India always think ki, you know, what if I go hire people, uh, I'll somehow be able to magically solve problems. It doesn't work like that. right and uh, and that is an understanding i have i have had in my life after some experience and after kalash you know who's our cto right he joined us in 2013 kyunki uski wajah se hi hamara ye product journey is all because of him you know because i am not a technologist right so it's it's you know i am a business guy you know so uski you know once kalash joined in 2013 and you know, his outlook to building products to life etc right i mean it's rubbed off on me as well you know so मैं भी पहले जब वन टू इयर्स में सोचता था कि अगर यू नो आज बीस लोग हैं अगर हमारा टीम का स्टाफ दो सौ हो गया तो समहाव बिजनेस ग्रो करेगा ऐसा होता नहीं है आई मीन पीपल इन इन अ टेक्नोलॉजी वर्ल्ड पीपल डोंट ऑटोमेटिकली सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स केल रियली हैपन इन 2016 एंड वन वॉज आधार बट आधार से ऑल्सो दी आदर टू रीजन फॉर स्केल हैपनिंग इन टू थाउजेंड वॉज वंस कैलाश जॉइन इन टू तब तक हमारा इन हाउस कोई प्रोडक्ट नहीं था राइट इट वॉज ऑल वेंडर प्रोडक्ट माने कोई थर्ड पार्टी ने प्रोडक्ट बिल्ड किया था जिसे हम बेच रहे थे हमारा यू एस पी दैट टाइम वॉज कि हम लो कॉस्ट है और ट्रांसपेरेंस है बिजनेस मॉडल क्या था स्टार्टिंग में मतलब वही लो कॉस्ट सबसे लो कॉस्ट इंडिया में जो जो टेक्नोलॉजी था वो एक थर्ड पार्टी प्लेटफॉर्म था आई मीन एक कंपनी था जो टेक्नोलॉजी फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट आई मीन नॉट फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी दे रहा था हम उनको लाइसेंस फी देते थे लाइसेंस फी देते थे कस्टमर हमें एक फ्लैट ब्रोकरेज फी पे करते थे जो इंडिया में वी वर द लोएस्ट कॉस्ट और The other thing, like I said, the, you know, like when Zeroda started, yeah, so I started blogging very actively. Jo, you know, you know, usually financial uh, banks, they go get brokers, they go get. So, no CEO, you know, no CEO will put their head on his table. You know, in the sense, always they're always in the background. I mean, you will never see in the business of finance CEOs coming in the front. I mean, आजकल हो रहा है, लेकिन traditionally, you know, everyone is in the back. You know, so. कोई ब्लॉग करके यू नो डजेंट आंसर कमेंट्स ओपनली पब्लिकली एक्सेट्रा यू नो बिकॉज सो वी स्टार्ट डूइंग सम ऑफ दिस थिंग्स विच विच वॉज हेल्पिंग अस एज अ बिजनेस या सो कैलाश जब जॉइन किया 2013 में तो वी स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन आर इन हाउस प्रोडक्ट टुडे टुडे और जो मोबाइल ऐप है वेब ऐप है जिसका नाम काइट है सो वी वी लॉन्च इट इन टू सो एंड दैट वॉज वेरी डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट कम्पेयर टू द वर्ड वॉज इन द मार्केट it was a uh, you know very clean minimal kind of you know apple just experience right so uh, so because only low cost is not enough to grow the business 
लेकिन क्योंकि क्या हुआ था हमारे बिजनेस में भी कि आई थिंक बाई टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन देर आर टू अदर ब्रोकर्स कॉपिंग एग्जैक्टली वॉट वी वर डूइंग जो लो कास्ट है मैं भी ब्लॉग करूँगा मैं भी यू नो सोशल मीडिया में एक्टिव रहूँगा इन ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड दैट्स मीन यू नो वेट रियलाइज किया ऐसे इसमें जिस तो बिजनेस ग्रो ही नहीं हो सकता ना क्योंकि टू ग्रो अ बिजनेस यू नीड टू हैव मोट है ना आई मीन कुछ तो यू एस पी होना चाहिए एंड सो या सो वी गॉट वेरी लकी टू गेट ख्याल आश अराउंड सो एक तो प्रोडक्ट अच्छा हुआ आई मीन इट इम्प्रूव इन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन मैंने लॉन्च था रोन थिंग एंड टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन डिसम्बर में हमने जब बिजनेस शुरू किया था वी वर ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड इट फॉर वेरी एक्टिव ट्रेडर्स राइट बट बाई टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन अपना एम्बिशन बढ़ गया था ना सो नाउ यू आर लाइक तब तक पता लग गया कि यू नो इंडिया में जो एक्टिव ट्रेडिंग करते हैं नॉट मोर देन फाइव लैक पीपल जो इन्वेस्ट करते हैं जो एक्टिव ट्रेडर्स होते हैं वो कितनी बार ट्रांजेक्शन करते होते हैं बीस एटलीस्ट टेन टू ट्वेंटी और अभी भी इतना ही है या थ्रो भी एक्टिव ट्रेडर जो वेरी एक्टिव ट्रेडर्स है एटलीस्ट फाइव टू टेन ट्रेड से डे और जो नॉर्मल ट्रेडर्स है नॉर्मल इन्वेस्टर है वो बाई करके होल्ड इन्वेस्टर नहीं ट्रेडर ट्रेडर्स नो आई मीन जो एक्टिव ट्रेडर्स है देर आर ट्रेडर्स वुल डू आई मीन वी हैव ट्रेडर्स वो डू फाइव हंड्रेड ट्रेड्स अ डे आई मीन वी हैव ट्रेडर्स वो डू फाइव ट्रेड्स अ डे सो बहुत वेरियंस है एवरेज टेन के आसपास एवरेज टेन टेन टू ट्वेंटी ट्रेड्स नो सो अगर बीस रुपये एक से ले रहे हैं हम तो चार सौ रुपये हो गया या आई मीन समथिंग लाइक दैट नो सो आई डोंट थिंक मोस्ट पीपल अंडरस्टैंड कि अगर स्टॉक मार्केट में इंडिया में जो टर्न ओवर हो रहा है ना सो जो इक्विटी इन्वेस्टर्स है जो बाई करके होल्ड करते हैं उनका कंट्रीब्यूशन टर्नओवर के लिए इज नॉट मोर देन फोर परसेंट जो 96, 97 परसेंट ऑफ द एक्सचेंज टर्नओवर आता है इंडिया में वो आता है एक्टिव ट्रेडर्स से अगर इफ यू लुक अराउंड यू 95 परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल आर इक्विटी इन्वेस्टर्स दैट मीन्स मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पीपल आर रियली कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू अ स्मॉल माइनॉरिटी ऑफ द एक्सचेंजेस वॉल्यूम्स बट द स्मॉल माइनॉरिटी ऑफ पीपल हु डू एक्टिव ट्रेडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट नाइन्टी ऑफ द टर्न राइट सो जो लोग समझते हैं स्टॉक एक्सचेंज है वो एक्चुअली नहीं है इन द सेंस स्टॉक एक्सचेंज का टर्न ओवर कम्स फ्रॉम वेरी एक्टिव ट्रेडर्स राइट सो सो वॉट वी गॉट यू नो वेन वी स्टार्ट द बिजनेस आवर आइडिया वॉज टू फोकस ऑन दिस टू थ्री परसेंट जो माइनॉरिटी वेरी एक्टिव ट्रेडिंग है बट देन वी रियलाइज की यू नो देर इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ग्रो द मार्केट इज इन्वेस्टिंग साइड में राइट विच इज नो जो करोड़ों लोग हैं जो यू नो पोटेंशली मार्केट में इन्वेस्ट कर सकते हैं सो Yeah, so that's really how uh, you know. So in December 2015, we went zero brokerage for equity investing. We said that if you invest, then we will not charge any commissions. Is there any cost behind it? No, cost. I mean, see, honestly, online business is not cheap. 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 राइट right? uh, लेकिन जब हमने ये डिसीजन लिया कि जीरो जाएंगे तो वी लेट गो ऑफ आई थिंक थ्री फोर परसेंट ऑफ आर रेवेन्यू जो यू नो हम बट बट हमने सोचा कि इवन इफ यू लेट गो इट्स ओके यू नो पोटेंशली हम यू नो मार्केट ग्रो कर सकते हैं यू नो इन सेंस आवर ओन ऑडियंस ग्रो कर सकते हैं दैट ऑल्सो प्लेड वेरी वेल बिकॉज क्या हुआ कि आई थिंक टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन डिसम्बर में जो इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स हैज टॉप टेन बिजनेस मैन टू वॉच आउट फॉर इन इंडिया द नंबर वन वॉज मुकेश अंबानी फॉर जियो क्योंकि जियो स्टार्ट हुआ 2016 में एंड नंबर टू वॉज नितिन कामत फॉर जीरो था बिकॉज जीरो था वेंट जीरो ब्रोकरेज माने तो पूरा पी आर का यू नो इट वॉज इट वॉज इट गॉट इज अलॉट ऑफ वायरलिटी सो वैन कस्टमर केम अज दे सॉ काइट दे लाइक डिट सो दे स्टार्ट इन्वाइटिंग दर यू नो फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली और देन ऑल्सो अभी ऑनलाइन अकाउंट ओपनिंग हो गया था तो इट वॉज नॉट देर वॉज नो वेटिंग पीरियड ऑफ यू नो टेन डेज यू नो यू कूड ओपन एन अकाउंट इन फाइव फाइव टेन मिनट्स so uh, so yeah so it was a combination of all of these things and also ki ye sab in sab ke beech mein stock markets also were doing well kyunki underlying hamare business mein aisa hai ki new people get interested in the market when the markets do well agar stock price upar ja raha hai to interest niche ja raha hai to no interest you know so you can't really change that behavior so so yeah so we got very lucky ki ye, ye teen char thing came together for us and uh, and then you know it just after 2016 the business blew up you know so uh, we went from 60000 customers to uh, 20 lakh by 2020 and 2020 covid happened and then so it was floodgates got opened you know so we went from 20, 20 lakh customers to 1 crore customers in 2 years you know because covid mein kya hua work from home बैंक का एफ डी रेट्स कम हो गया है नो एंड मार्केट मार्केट के बाद उठ रहा है उठ रहा है सो इट वॉज लाइक कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एवरी थिंग सो देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन पीपल टू इन्वेस्ट इन द मार्केट्स
मैंने दो चीज़ें पढ़ी आपके बारे में रिसर्च करते हुए एक तो आपने बताया कि कोई टेक्नोलॉजी है जिसको भी आप अपनी खुद से डेवलप कर रहे हो नहीं नहीं वो सो जब से कैलाश आया तो एवरी थिंग एवरी थिंग इज एन हाउस एक छोटा सा पीस है अभी आउटसोर्स सो दैट समथिंग दैट वी आर वर्किंग हाँ वो आप समझाओगे क्या है आपने कहा था कि जो डाउन टाइम आ रहा है वो किसी और के चक्कर में आ रहा है नो द थिंग इज जो ये जो हमारा बिजनेस है ना जो टेक्नोलॉजी है इज एक्चुअली वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स पीस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी ये सी बैंकिंग इज़ अ वेरी सिंपल पीस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बैंकिंग में कैसा है कि देर इज़ नो यू नो ट्रांसैक्शन कुछ डिले हो गया कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इन आवर बिजनेस यू खान यू नो मिली सेकेंड माने वन थाउजेंड ऑफ ए सेकेंड में अपना ऑल ट्रांसैक्शन हैव टू एग्जीक्यूट सो कैसा होता है कि अगर से यू आर अ कस्टमर यू आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ आर मोबाइल ऐप और वेब ऐप यू प्लेस एन ऑर्डर द ऑर्डर कम्स टू वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज एन ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम राइट जो जहाँ पर आप ऑर्डर प्लेस कर रहे हो इज आर वेब ऐप जब उसके बाद ऑर्डर आता है अपने यू नो ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम में सो जब वो सिस्टम में आता है तो यू नो दैट सिस्टम चेक्स कि आपके अकाउंट में बैलेंस है नहीं है अगर बैलेंस इफ ऑल ऑफ दैट इज देयर इट देन हैज़ टू सेंड द ऑर्डर टू द स्टॉक एक्सचेंज स्टॉक एक्सचेंज सो यू नो इन इन मोस्ट ऑफ द अदर इंडस्ट्रीज देर इज़ नो थर्ड पार्टी डिपेंडेंसी माने यू नो अगर आप ई कॉमर्स बिजनेस कर रहे हो ऑर्डर आया तो आप आपका ऑर्डर आता है यू नो यू टेक केयर ऑफ द ऑर्डर बट यर वी ए सेंड द ऑर्डर टू द स्टॉक एक्सचेंज and then we have to continuously monitor kya ho raha hai us order ko and then once that order executes we have to update that on our order management which then updates on your jo web app hai mobile app hai the problem in all of this is all of this has to happen in milliseconds and has to happen millions of times in a day right i mean we do 15 million orders a day today agar wo 15 million completed orders so if you you add everything that's happened it's it's tens of millions of orders you know so नाउ जी जो ये ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम है विच इज़ अ वेरी कोर पीस इज टुडे ओन बाय लंडन स्टॉक एक्सचेंज जो जो आई मीन इट वॉज ओन बाय थॉमसन रॉयटर्स उसके बाद रेफिनेटिव नाउ लंडन स्टॉक एक्सचेंज इज बॉट दैट रेफिनेटिव बिजनेस सो दैट्स आउटसोर्स राइट नाउ द दिस ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम वॉज बिल्ट आई थिंक इन इन अर्ली टू थाउजेंड्स राइट ये बहुत कोर इंजन इट्स इट्स लाइक आपको पता होगा कि लाइक पोर्शा जो कार बनाता है The engine is not theirs, right? The engine belongs to Audi. Audi का engine लेता है and they build a car around around it, because Porsche says engine बनाना is not their skill set. So so essentially what we have done is also is the same. कि हमने ये जो जो अंदर का engine है वहाँ से लिया and we built a car around it, and we have slowly replaced whatever is possible. So uh, the problem for this engine also was that they, this engine had never seen the scale that uh, we have brought to the system. हमारे इंडिया की पॉपुलेशन इतनी ज़्यादा है आई मीन ऑर्डर्स इतने ज़्यादा है क्योंकि आई मीन लाइक आई डोंट थिंक जो इंजन जब ये डिज़ाइन किया था इंजन किसी ने सोचा था कि इतना लोड आ सकता है इस पर राइट तो इसकी वजह से यू नो आई थिंक इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एटीन स्पेशली जब बहुत स्केल हो रहे थे तब यू नो डाउन टाइम वगैरह ज़्यादा था बट वी मेड आर फिक्सेस हमने यू नो लाइक बहुत ज़्यादा यू नो वी हैव वर्कड ऑन इट इफ यू लुक एट इट फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ऑनवर्ड्स Uh, in the last two, three years, there hardly been any down down times. You know, I mean, the down times for us was really 2017, 18, 19, because that's when we were scaling, and you know, we had problems with this engine. But you know, we we've done our bit. Just say 2020 April was probably the worst time in terms of stock market volatility, because it was very volatile when COVID, you know, just came out, and stock prices were crashing. You know, if you pick up. There were stock brokers in the U.S. Some of the biggest brokers, who didn't they didn't work for two three days, not hours. I'm saying full days. You know, like five five six six hours every day. That platform is down because it's not able to handle the volatility and volume. But we worked smoothly across those periods. You know, kabi you know there was no incident at all. But we we do have a problem that you know our customers are very social media savvy, right? And and we are a large piece of India's trading market agar even chhota sa bhi incident hai na it gets blown up on social media that is because today we are 15 20% of the of india and and majority of our customers are also on social media you know so uh, so yeah even small incidents get spotted but uh, you know social media se hame bahut zyada benefit hua so you know i can't complain if you know sometimes 
यू नो यू नो लाइक दिस राइट वो डबल एच फोर्ड है सो कभी कभी यू नो उल्टा भी जब लगता है तो बहुत बुरा लगता है ना इसको तो अभी ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम कंप्लीट इन हाउस बन रहा है अभी आई थिंक बाई अप्रैल नेक्स्ट ईयर उसके बाद यू नो आई मीन द सेंस ओवर द लास्ट सेवन या एट ईयर्स ऑलमोस्ट एवरी आई मीन लाइक वी मूड जो अपने ई मेल सेंडिंग सोल्यूशन है फॉर एग्जाम्पल वो इन हाउस है जो कैलाश ने उसे भी बिल्ड किया है सो यू नो अपना जो बैक ऑफिस माने वी हैव सो बॉडर्ड कि हमने डिसाइड किया है कि कोई भी पीस अपना बिजनेस का कांट बी वेंडर डिपेंडेंट नो वी हैव टू बी इन कंट्रोल ऑफ इट सो एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम ई मेल सेंडिंग सोल्यूशन टू यू नो लाइक अकाउंटिंग पैकेज टू एवरी थिंग यू नो एवरी सिंगल थिंग इज इज इन हाउस कोई एंटरप्राइज डील नहीं है सो यू नो आई मीन दीज थिंग्स डोंट मैटर जो लगता है कि इट्स नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट बट द थिंग इज द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी वी सेव इज जस्ट इनक्रेडिबल लाइक हम रोज वी सेंड बिटवीन फाइव टू सेवन मिलियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नोट्स हमारे यहाँ से फाइव टू सेवन यू नो जब लोग ट्रांसैक्ट करते हैं तो एंड ऑफ द डे वी हैव टू सेंड अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नोट एज एन ई मेल यू नो मैंडेटरी है वी स्पेंड हंड्रेड डॉलर्स अ मंथ क्योंकि हमारा अपना सोल्यूशन है अगर हम वी यूज टू वी यूज द मेल चिम्प या यू नो थर्ड पार्टी वेंडर को यूज़ करेंगे तो वील हैव टू स्पेंड हंड्रेड थाउजेंड डॉलर्स अ मंथ राइट सो सो लाइक दैट यू नो जब यू नो इफ यू आर इन कंट्रोल ऑफ योर ओन टेक्नोलॉजी द द कॉस्ट कैन रिड्यूस सिग्निफिकेंटली सो इसी वजह से यू नो लाइक वी बीन एबल टू स्केल प्रॉफिटेबली एज अ बिजनेस अदरवाइज कैसा होता है कि यू नो इफ यू लुक एट अ लॉट ऑफ स्टार्टअप इन द इको सिस्टम जब स्केल किया है तो कॉस्ट भी यूनिफॉर्मली ज़्यादा हुआ है यू नो दैट्स वाई दे आर नॉट प्रॉफिटेबल right but the thing in, in you know in building a business is that you want to be doing things which can you know which can has economies of scale mane ki uh, you know like just giving an example uh, 2020 mein 2 million customers we had 1000 people on the team we had 10 million customers with 1000 people on the team so you know the fact that you could go from 2 to 10 million customers without increasing your team size means you are benefiting from economies of scale right so and ye this is not come at the cost of user experience dropping our actually customer ratings etc have actually gone up in the last 2 years so we have just constantly you know improved on the efficiency of the business you know and uh, which is why you know the business has grown profitably you know and and not just revenue wise you know so um, and and one of the key reasons for this is also key otherwise what happens is you know when you scale you know if you are sending just a very simple example if you are sending 100000 emails a day you are spending 10000 You're sending 10 million emails a day. You're spending a million dollars, right? मतलब जब business ज़्यादा होता है तो cost भी बढ़ जाता है ना. So uh, and the problem is एक बार जो business का cost बढ़ गया, your fixed cost go up. And if the business comes down, it's very tough to adjust this, right? Because luxuries become necessities. You know what I mean? Like एक बार आपने salary बढ़ा कर दिया सबका. You can't go back and say business कम हुआ तो I'll reduce my salaries, right? I mean it doesn't work. So businesses have to always find a way to grow uh, you know where the margin the profit margin the gross margins etc doesn't get affected i mean like that's you know that's essentially when economies of scale can kick in you know so we recently when i have got a tweet dekha tha jahan pe aap market size ke bare mein baat kar rahe the ki market size jis hisab se valuation chal rahi hai market ke andar wo justified nahi hai to usko thoda sa explain karoge audience ke liye the strength of a country is the population right i mean we have you know uh, one point 4 billion people or 140 crore people in this country but the problem is also the population right the problem is because most of these 140 crore indians don't earn enough right ki wo economy ko contribute kar sake you know and then most of these indians are just making enough to survive their food and health needs right as in they don't have enough money to for discretionary spends discretionary money jo unnecessary spending i uh, i mean anything outside your house rental bare minimum food your bare minimum health and bare minimum education is discretionary spending agar aap somato pe samosa samosa order karoge to that's a discretionary spend right so uh, so the problem in india is also that uh, there isn't an opportunity to generate from majority of that indians uh, kyunki Uh, you know if someone is earning a, you know like a family is earning 10000 rupees a month four people how will they even spend on anything right so when when we look at india a lot of people think india is 140 crore indians uh, which is not the right number to look at uh, 
बिकॉज क्या होता है कि यू नो एज अ स्टार्टअप इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज अ पर्सन बिल्डिंग अ बिजनेस इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द वॉट योर टारगेट मार्केट इज एंड बिकॉज इफ यू कैन इफ यू डोंट नो द मार्केट साइज एज अ फाउंडर यू कैन यू कैन मिस कैलकुलेट द बिजनेस इट्स राइट सो सो ओवर द लास्ट थ्री फोर ईयर्स इंडिया में क्या हुआ कि पीपल हैव इन ओवर सेलिंग द मार्केट साइज पीपल हैव इन मेकिंग इट सीम लाइक यू नो लाइक जस्ट टू गिवन अब हमारे इंडस्ट्री में एग्जाम्पल यू नो पीपल से इंडिया में यू नो देर आर नाइन करोड़ डीमेट अकाउंट्स वन फिफ्टी करोड़ पॉपुलेशन सो सिक्स परसेंट पेनिट्रेशन यू एस में फोर्टी परसेंट सो इंडिया कैन बिकम फोर्टी परसेंट इन फाइव ईयर्स एंड सो इंडिया कैन हैव फिफ्टी करोड़ डीमेट अकाउंट्स इन इन फाइव ईयर्स द प्रॉब्लम इज वेर आर दीज फिफ्टी करोड़ इंडियंस आई मीन वेर आर द फोर्टी करोड़ इंडियंस हू कैन ओपन अ डीमेट अकाउंट इफ यू डोंट हैव मनी टू ईट फूड विल यू ओपन अ डीमेट अकाउंट आई मीन यू वुड आई मीन यू वुड नॉट आई मीन यू फर्स्ट वॉन्ट टू गो हैव पुट फूड इन यूर स्टमक बिफोर यू गो ओपन अ डीमेट अकाउंट सो द थिंग इज पीपल हु सिट आउटसाइड इंडिया राइट आई थिंक दे दे जो इन्वेस्ट करते हैं इंडियन मार्केट्स में द बी सी कम्युनिटी आई मीन अ लॉट ऑफ एल पीज आई थिंक दे आर like personally i think they're misled into believing that india is a much larger market than what it is right uh, and that's why there is so much money chasing india as well you know so um uh so yeah so i i i think india in a longer term in the next 10 15 years you know will have a lot more people who can contribute who will have discretionary spending uh, you know india ka per capita gdp is around 2000 dollars mane per indian contribution to the economy is से डेढ़ लाख रुपये पर ईयर यू नो सो चाइना में ऑल द यू नो ऑल द बिजनेस स्टार्टिंग डूइंग वेल वेन द जी डी पी हिट फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर्स जब यू नो अगर वो डेढ़ लाख बिकम से यू नो थ्री थ्री एंड हाफ लैक्स दैट्स वेन पीपल विल हैव डिस्क्रिप्शनरी पावर्स एंड दैट्स वेन पीपल विल स्टार्ट स्पेंडिंग ऑन लाइक यू नो लाइक यू विल हैव टेन करो पीपल ऑन जोमैटो राइट और you will have uh, you know we can have 20 crore indians and stuff like that but until that happens it's it's very tough to assume that people will somehow come and you know uh, you know contribute on platform so yeah my my tweet was generally that because uh, you know i keep listening to people overselling the market size i thought i should put a you know <laughs> like a conversation they are saying ये इतना बड़ा नहीं है इंडिया यू नो इंडिया इज इन ऑल सेंस नॉट मोर देन टेन टू फिफ्टीन क्रोर्स अगर इफ यू आर बिल्डिंग एन ऑनलाइन बिजनेस टूडे इन इंडिया फिफ्टीन क्रोर्स इज अ स्ट्रेच आइडियली स्पीकिंग इट्स आई थिंक फाइव टू सिक्स क्रोर्स आई मीन योर टारगेट ऑडियंस इज फाइव टू सिक्स क्रोर्स एंड नॉट फिफ्टी सिक्सटी क्रोर्स यू नो सो बिकॉज फाइव टू सिक्स क्रोर इंडियंस मेक एन एफ मनी to be able to spend on discretionary items online you know or invest money or save etc uh, majority of indians don't even make uh, any money so uh, it's important to know and accept that then because then apna you know you'll build a business accordingly as well you know so to thoda sa market ko samajhne ki koshish karta hu matlab mere bhi khud ke question hai ki jaise aapne dmat account ki baat kari 9 crore hai usme se active traders kitne ho gaye approx yeah no, i mean no crore unique nahi hai नौ करोड़ इज यू नो अगर आपने एक जरोदा में ओपन किया एक आई सी में ओपन किया तो दो अकाउंट हो गए राइट सो यूनिक अकाउंट इज फाइव एंड हाफ सिक्स क्रोर्स एंड आउट ऑफ दैट एक्टिव इज आई थिंक टू एंड हाफ थ्री क्रोर्स इन से एक्टिव माने जहाँ पे कुछ एक साल में कुछ एक्टिविटी हुआ है टाइप्स इन और अगर हम डेली ट्रेडर टाइप बात करके चले तो डेली ट्रेडर इज इज टेन फिफ्टीन लैक्स इन सो आई मीन टेन फिफ्टीन लैक्स जो ट्रेडिंग को सीरियसली लेते हैं जो इन्वेस्टर है आई थिंक सी एवरी सेवन आई थिंक आई थिंक फिफ्टी सिक्सटी लैक्स होगा जो एवरी डे जो मार्केट में आके कुछ ना कुछ करते हैं टाइप्स इन सो ऑन एवरेज फोर्टी फिफ्टी लैक्स एटलीस्ट होगा अगर हम टेन लैक्स को कैलकुलेट करके चलते हैं तो चार सौ रुपये अगर तुम इफ यू टेक अप द टॉप ट्वेंटी फाइव ब्रोकर्स इन इंडिया दे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द रेवेन्यू टू दफ द ब्रोकिंग इंडस्ट्री सो उन सब का अगर आप अपने टॉप लाइन ऐड किया तो इट्स अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड क्रोज टू फिफ्टी डेज ईयर ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड क्रोज सो इट इज हंड्रेड क्रोज अ डे का टूडे इज अ मार्केट अपॉर्चुनिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ ब्रोकरेज रेवेन्यूज तो आपको लगता है कि अभी करेंटली इंडियन मार्केट में बबल बना हुआ है स्टार्टअप के अराउंड 
ना आई थिंक जनरली स्टार्टअप जहाँ भी है जहाँ भी है आई थिंक वैल्यूएशन अगर देखेंगे तो इट इट डेफिनेटली लुक्स लाइक अ बबल यू नो फर्दर और वो बबल फटने वाला है पिछले आने वाले कुछ टाइम के अंदर सी थिंग इज इंडिया इज इन अ वेरी लकी पोजिशन राइट द रीजन इज की जो वर्ल्ड के सारे इकोनॉमीज में इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द ओनली फ्यू कंट्रीज जहाँ पे देर इज स्टिल जी डी पी ग्रोथ राइट वन ऑफ द ओनली फ्यू इकोनॉमीज जहाँ पे स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट है जहाँ पे यू नो लाइक करेंसी रिस्क ज़्यादा नहीं है जहाँ पे डेमोक्रेसी है राइट आई मीन ऑल दिस कॉम्बिनेशन विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर कैपिटल टू फ्लो इन इंडिया इज रियली वन ऑफ द ओनली फ्यू कंट्री सो इंडिया पे बहुत लोगों का नज़र भी है यू नो सो एट लॉट ऑफ पीपल वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट मनी इन टू द कंट्री क्या वैल्यूएशन बबल बर्स्ट हो सकता है डेफिनेटली हो सकता है लेकिन इतना इंटरेस्ट है कि इंडिया में कि कि मे बी यू नो इट वॉन्ट बी टू बैड आई मीन ऑफकोर्स अगर यू एस मार्केट इज क्रैशिंग यू एस इज मदर ऑफ ऑल मार्केट अगर वो क्रैश हो रहा है तो यू नो लाइक एवरी वन इज गोन गेट अफेक्टेड ऐसा यू नो इंडिया समाओ कैन सेव फ्रॉम इट इट्स नॉट गोन हैपन बट इंडिया में बहुत ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट है आई थिंक बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस रीजन ऑल्सो बिकॉज इंडिया इज गॉट द हाइस्ट नंबर ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी ईयर ओल्ड जो यू नो बिकॉज ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी ईयर ओल्ड आर रियली यू नो अदर यू नो अदर वन हुल पोटेंशली हैव डिस्क्रिप्शनरी स्पेंडिंग टमोरो राइट जो ऑनलाइन आएंगे स्पेंड करेंगे एक्सेट्रा यू नो सो सो या सो इट्स एंड हुल अडेप्ट टू न्यूअर यू नो टाइप्स ऑफ बिजनेस एक्सेट्रा सो या सो आई थिंक इट्स अ इट्स अ बबल इन अ शॉर्टर टर्म देर कुड बी पेन बट लॉन्गर टर्म आई थिंक इंडिया हैज अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बट यू नो जस्ट टू पुट अ डिस्क्लेमर हि ये सब कैन चेंज एनी टाइम यू नो लाइक जो इंडिया का आउटलुक है यू नो सडनली टुमारो मॉर्निंग इट कैन चेंज यू नेवर नो आई मीन you know that risk is always there but i think as things stand today in india, you know i think india will outperform the world agar i mean that's a safer bet to make see to humko basically bahut sare entrepreneurs dekhte hain jo currently business kar rahe hain ya karne wale hain aur bahut sare log inspired hai aapse bootstrap karna hai to kya aap kuch panch che tips dena chahoge bootstrap startups ko ki kis cheezon ka dhyan rakhna chahiye jaise bhai aapne bataya ki aap ओवर हायरिंग नहीं करी कभी भी सी फर्स्टली ऐसा है कि हर हर बिजनेस बूट नहीं कर सकते देर आर बिजनेस इज दैट रिक्वायर फंडिंग देर आर बिजनेस सी हमारे बिजनेस में लाइक एस एड अर्ली इट्स अ वेरी इट्स अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम दैट वी आर सॉल्विंग अगर इट्स नॉट अ सिंपल प्रॉब्लम राइट जो हमारा जो टेक्नोलॉजी है वाइल द फ्रंट एंड लुक्स वेरी सिंपल एट द बैक एंड इट्स प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स टेक्नोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम्स आउट देर so because we have solved it well people come to us in the sense you know bahar ka bahar ka user experience is similar in all the apps right jo back end hai like why does tesla sell so many cars without advertising because tesla is a good car right but not everyone can make a tesla right as in like tesla is a complex piece of technology i mean right so it's a uh, because humne ye complex piece of technology ka problem solve kiya hai that is today our moat agar thing was commoditized jaise for example coca cola or pepsi ko le lo it's a very commoditized product as a business mein agar if you don't raise funding you will get burnt why because the product is very commoditized so you know the first thing about your business i think anyone who's who's building has to think is kya mera jo main build kar raha hu is very easily copyable by someone if it is very easily copyable boss raise money and put some distance on your competition right because uh you know otherwise there is you know or be happy i mean be happy with what today kya hota hai na ki uh you know everyone around us is celebrating valuation as a success there is i mean if if a startup i mean if a small sme is making 2 3 crores of profits a year it's brilliant i mean right why does he have to become a 500 crore valuation business it doesn't i mean if he's making 2 3 crores a month without any investor obligation continue doing it right but uh, no and not every business can scale right i, I mean agar aapka koi small scale industry hai kuch you know you're making something niche you can't suddenly scale you can't become a coca cola and sell cola to everyone right so i think first thing i think entrepreneurs need to understand is that uh not every business can be built without funding right uh, you know you can i think be bootstrapped when you have a edge over the competition in some form right ab apna edge tha ki firstly we you know uh, we spent a lot of time building credibility for many years when there was no competition 
Two is we solve a te complex technology problem. Three is we have gained credit, uh, trust and credibility without having to spend money, you know, so which took us a long time. Because of all of this, we can continue to remain bootstrapped, right? But if, if there was another competition who was exactly like us in all forms and was spending a lot of money, he would win the race, right? So it's, 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 it's very tough otherwise. So, yeah, so I, I, think, I think you have to sit and analyze. I mean, bootstrap, Hamare is, you know, it, it, you know, people look up to us as a bootstrap thing, but we are very lucky to have been in this business, which could have been built a bootstrap. You know, not every business can be built to our scale bootstrapped. Outcome ko chase nahi karna is, is a good idea, which is don't chase valuation and etc. Right? I think that's a very important thing about bootstrapping, right? Because as soon as you start chasing valuation, you will be forced to go raise funding. Right? If you see, in within our business, not once have we sat down and said we have to be at this revenue, at this PNL, this users. We have said we want to get up every day and offer a better product than what we offered yesterday. In some form, we have to continue improving. The outcome is what is happening. You can't really control that. You can't really control the outcomes of everything. You can only control what effort you put as a business, right? And uh, and then goddess of luck smiles somewhere in between. You know, you can make money, right? As in, at the end of the day, luck be both important, right? Uh, you know, agar zero da aaj shuru hua, there is no way I could build as bootstrapped. Zero da, because it started in 2010, because all of these things that happened, we were able to do it bootstrap. But if today I had to start zero da, there is no way. I mean, there is no opportunity to build a bootstrap zero da today, right? Because <laughs> the market is evolved. The, um, you know, I, like, I can't wait for 10 years to gain credibility, etc. You know, it, it won't, it won't, it's not possible, you know, so. But yeah, but if someone is thinking of bootstrapping, etc., I think uh, don't chase this valuation outcome. And I mean, you just start of, uh, you know, 100 million, 200 million, 300 billion unicorn. Wo valuation say don't get affected. I mean, don't, don't even think about it. I mean, start chasing profitability and sustainability. If business profitable hai, sustainable hai, then you've done a great job. Right, and uh, and I think you know people like you should uh, invite such founders. You know, you should not bring someone to your show just because his valuation is high, because it means nothing. Right, I think people have to be celebrated if they are profitable and sustainable. It doesn't matter five crore profit hai, ki panso crore profit hai, You know, but even that five crore guy has to be acknowledged. You know? So, so yeah. So if you want to bootstrap, I think consciously do whatever it is to re, you know, turn profitable. Because that's the only way you can be bootstrapped, right? If you're not profitable, it's not possible. Because in today's world, every business will have to leverage technology in some form. So you have to own your technology. Here is an issue that we also do currently. Technology guys are very expensive. Because the competition is, they have funding and the market price has been very high. और वो एक बूस्टर बिजनेस के लिए कई बार अनसस्टेनेबल हो जाता है उस कॉस्ट के ऊपर टीम बिल्ड करना एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक आई थिंक या यू नो टुडे इट्स अ बिग प्रॉब्लम एंड एंड आई थिंक ये जो वैल्यूएशन बबल है इट हैज टू करेक्ट बिकॉज़ दिस हैज टू गेट फिक्स्ड बिकॉज़ टुडे इट्स बिकम इंपॉसिबल टू बिल्ड अ बूटस्ट्रैप ऑनलाइन बिजनेस बिकॉज़ अगर ऑनलाइन बनाना है तो टेक गाय चाहिए टेक गाय चाहिए तो व्हाटएवर सैलरीज पे करना है अगर उतना सैलरीज पे करना है पैसे कहां से आएंगे तो फंडिंग लेना रेज करना पड़ेगा सो it's, it's become really tough today to build, uh, you know, like, like, you know, I shared about this as well. You know, today I think MVP banane ke liye, MVP mane jo, jo minimum viable product hai, uske liye ek do million dollars chahiye. I mean, 10 crore, 15 crore, you know, because utna banane ke liye at least teen chal tech log chahiye, at least ek saal ka, you know, Audience we have to test karna hai. Test karna hai, toh audience bhi ads se laake lana hooga. Right, so, you know, it's become very, it's almost impossible today to not raise funding and uh, and get started. I think I think the right way to look at the current environment is one, ye jo bubble hai, it'll, you know, it'll, you know, deflate. You can wait to ha find good tech guys, right? The, the other way to look at it is, uh, don't go to venture capitalists to begin with, right? Go to angels. Angels be bahut zare bade in India, right? Jo, jo uh, professional investors nahi, right? You know, people who have made money from startup ecosystem, etc. Wahan ja ke raise the minimum amount of money that you can, right? Uh, 
go to angels who want to invest in you because they are from your industry and they are passionate about what you are doing right not i mean as said to you know agar if you go meet an angel who is investing only for return of investment you will not be able to make a good case of investing right like for example today i invest in so many startups because i'm very curious about what these guys are building right because like you know i'm like i care about health quite a bit there are so many health startups you know which are making uh, e- you know like building stuff which will make help uh, which will help people make healthier choices easier so in me i invest right? as in, i do it only because i think they're you know they're they're kind of addressing a cause that i care about right not for any return of money right as in i say you know go try identify angels like that and then go build a minimum product right like a minimum whatever right you know like a viable product yahan pe main rokna chahunga ab maan ke chalte hain humko koi dekh raha hai uh theek thaak ladka hai engineering graduate hai tech guy hai aur wo apna khud ka product build kar raha hai ab wo aapke paas aata hai to kuch equity bhi aap loge to humko matlab us bande ko kitni equity dilute karni chahiye yeah yeah so i think angel ke liye the thing is when you're building a product very tough to come up with a valuation i mean agar kuch bhi hai nahi to you know like how do you like today i was talking to someone and this person said i am 10 million dollars you know abhi product launch bhi nahi hua hai so i asked how are you validate 10 mi- on what basis right it's very tough to do it until you get customers paying money to use the product once you have customers paying money to use the product then you can ascribe a valuation so i think i think a good structure for this is really like jo y combinator ka hai na structure i mean it's a like one of the safe notes mm-hmm. or go to the angel and say ki main aapko jo bhi venture cap next round mein paisa lunga professional se uske liye us uska 30% discount pe dunga and then say kuch cap pe you know so for example today i don't know what is the value of my business right i'll tell you i'll give you 30% discount to the next round and i will not i'll have a cap of set 30 crores 5 million dollars i mean uh, you know agar 5 million dollars se zyada pe main next round fund raise karunga to aapko stake 5 million dollars pe hi milega because that way you are taking care of your investor uh, the problem with most startups today is that jab apna product bhi ready nahi hua hai you are going and claiming that you're going to you know somehow change the world wo kaise ho sakta hai doesn't like you know if you actually pick up all the startups who Uh, who come up from india there'll be handful of startups who have reached more than 10 million dollars in revenue but there are thousands of startups which are you know which are valued at 100 million dollars and over right eventually startup has to make money right to to be valued at something without making money you can't i mean users have to come use your product etc so i think i think i think a good structure for for a for a beginning startup guy you know if you're in that product stage which will is to not go to venture you know not go to professional venture capitalists because you know once you go there and you take money from them uske baad you get forced a certain route of building business go to angels i mean how will angels recognize you make youtube videos start blogging you know about the business you are building why are you building etc right because if the angel reads it and he cares for it very likely that people will give you money because of the cause right uh, and angels in india have made a lot of money i mean there is a lot of money uh, that has been made in the you know on the overall indian startup ecosystem so people are sitting wanting to invest in startups right that market is in india is like a proper bull market right now right so you just have to go find the right angel that's a, that's the thing you know so yeah my my advice would be that is that go to an angel because today it's impossible to build unless you are a tech guy a business guy i mean if you are three four core founders one is a business guy one is a tech guy then you don't need money you can build a mvp but if you need money to get to a, you know like a mvp types and get a bunch of users i think um, uh, i think you know give a deal which is in favor of the angel investor right and you know if the angel investor cares about your business he most likely will also add value to your business as well right he'll be able to give you ideas and etc right you know like when it comes to say fintech if it comes to health uh, if it comes to even today i think we are also understanding environment quite a bit because we run this thing called rain matter climate jahan se invest karte like these two three things you know if if i we were to invest we are not just giving capital we are also helping this person with accesses right as in agar you know someone comes to me and says nitin i don't know this, what this regulation means 
I can tell him in maybe 15 minutes, which will otherwise might take this guy six months to figure out, right? So, uh, so I think, yeah, we need to go find the right kind of uh, angels in the, you know, when you're just about to, I think, fundraise. But because once you take the venture capitalist route, you know, it's a rush. You know, once a venture capitalist puts money, I mean, see, he's also forced. A VC is also forced to show returns to his, you know, LP, right? So, you know, so he's also, he's going to push you to grow fast and etc. So, uh, and I think, you know, when business starts, I think it's, you know, the first one, two years, I think it's a discovery process. At that time, I don't think you should, you know, like, like I said, right, when the school are going to the first few years of the school is to socialize, interact, etc. Right? Your learning really starts much later on. Right, so, um, so yeah, so I, I think, I think the, you know, by not having VCs breathing down your neck, the, you know, the, the first one, two years is, is you know, taking money from angels is a good, good, good idea. So, how much do you expect to start starting around? No, I mean, that is, oh, business will depend on business. Right? So, it's, you know, I mean, see, the thing is, at the end of the day, it's all hocus pocus, right? As it, mm-hmm. like, you know, I mean, it's up to the founder's selling skills. Mm-hmm. See, I mean, we both could be building the same thing. Uh, if I sell it better, I might get it at five times more valuation than what you can get it, right? As in, at the end of the day, people get so because there is nothing, right? Abhi jab business value karte ho, especially when there is no product, it's just an idea. All the valuation is really a hocus pocus. I mean, it's ideally, if someone angel to raise an angel, then he will make almost two years' runway. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. I think one and a half, two years. And, and be frugal. I mean, as a founder, so I don't think you can take salary will and all that. I mean, like market salaries, you know, take bare minimum, put it all to build the product out. And then if you see that users like it, you see that there's some revenue traction. At that time, take a call saying, do you want to grow slowly or do you want to grow it fast? If you want to grow it fast, go to a VC, raise some money and, and try growing fast. But Growing slowly is also a thing. You know, a lot of people have forgotten that business slowly we you know, build. Kar sakte hai. You know, there is no need to build all businesses very fast. Right? Like us, right? I mean, we have never, I mean, it took us 12, 13 years to reach here, right? So it is not built in two, three years. But there are brokers who are built in two, three years, big businesses in two, three years. So, yeah, so it, it then depends. Apne aapko question karna hai ki, do you want to be in constant pressure to grow fast or you know, are you okay to be growing slowly and etc.? The thing about growing slowly is that uh, it's, uh, I mean, the learnings are more. When you slow steady, karte ho, you learn and get better with time. When you fast, karte ho, your learnings aren't as much because you're always constantly in a rush to grow fast. Right? So your learnings, I mean, they can be, I mean, that's why you're seeing so many in the startup ecosystem. When you grow fast, grow karte, then they come down also almost quickly because uh, they build the business without the, you know, without learning well about the business, how to keep team together, etc. So, I mean, there are different ways to build the business. I think, uh, you know, people have it's a self-discovery process. Jo apna khud ka, jo founders hai, unka khud ka discovery process hai. And I think people need to do what feels personal to them. I mean, you can't cut copy paste. Just, just because I'm saying it doesn't mean it'll work for you, right? What works for you may not work for me. Right. As, a, as a business, I mean, it's, you know, uh, we have to do what is right for us, you know, what feels right for us. You know. So, for example, there is a person who is again a tech wala, and he has made an MVP and he has started to test it and he has started to get traction. Now, can he take again the angel route? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, so the thing is, if traction has started, revenue generation, Start ho gaya hai. Aajkal to traction ko to pre-revenue bhi kehte hai na. Matlab, uh, matlab, traction matlab traffic aara hai. Ab usse revenue ban raha hai, nahi ban raha. Yeah, no, agar revenue nahi ban raha hai, to you will be forced to go raise money, right? Revenue ban raha hai to? No, revenue ban raha hai to, then you have an option to raise or not to raise. Mm-hmm. See, the thing is, what you need to understand is money brings obligation. Kisi ka bhi paisa ho. Apne papa se bhi paisa lo, to obligation aata hi hai. Because you're, you know, at a dinner table, your father might ask you, beta, kya hua pae sakha? Right, you know, and it's an uncomfortable spot. Right, Jab at least apna family ka paisa hai to, you will not be forced to do something because of the obligation. Like in bahar ka paisa hai to, obligation will force you to, you know, change the course of the business, right? As in, uh, you know, one of the things, the best thing about Zeroda today is that, agar 
कोई भी मुझे फ़ोन करेगा आई हैव एन ऑप्शन टू पिक अप द फोन और नॉट पिक अप द फोन दैट्स रियली दैट फ्रीडम इज़ रियली द बेस्ट थिंग ऑफ माई लाइफ अगर मैंने हज़ार इन्वेस्टर से पैसे लिए होते उनका फ़ोन आएगा तो मुझे उठाना है राइट सो देर इज़ नो फ्रीडम देर यू नो यू आर फोर्स टू पिकअप बिकॉज दैट मनी कम्स विद एन ऑब्लिकेशन राइट सो यू नो अगर वो फ़ोन पे मुझे कुछ बोलेगा तो आई हैव टू टेक दैट इनपुट इफ इट मेक सेंस डजेंट मेक सेंस इट डजेंट मैटर राइट सो द गुड थिंग अबाउट बिल्डिंग इट बुड स्ट्रैप इज दैट यू हैव यू हैव लॉट मोर फ्रीडम यू मे नॉट हैव एज मच वैल्यूएशन बट यू विल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रीडम पर्सनली मुझे मेरे लिए आई थिंक आई वैल्यू फ्रीडम मोर देन द वैल्यूएशन Uh, you know, and and that's why I've taken this. You know, bootstrap route, right? Mm-hmm. Now, if if I if I cared for valuation more than freedom, I would have probably raised money long time back, mm-hmm. right? Because ये जो unicorn वगैरह हमारा valuation आया, we were only forced to do it because uh, you know हमारा office में we had given ESOPs, जो mm-hmm. ESOP का buyback था, तो we had to create some valuation. and that valuation got out in the market you know and then people figured that we did a buyback at unico otherwise we have no i mean mere dimag mein the our true valuation is a money in the bank jo paisa bank mein is our valuation because everything else is paper right wo kabhi bhi you never know what is real for example jo robin hood hai jo now very similar broker like us in the us uska valuation tha 90 billion dollars 4 months back aaj hai 9 billion dollars right so you know so the paper valuation ka kuch matlab nahi hai na so you know if there is revenue coming in do you want to take that path uh, where you you know where you, you potentially can be obligated uh, or you want to take the path where you want freedom more than i mean it's it's like that ki but the thing is if you have like you know world beating ambitions of valuation then you have to go take vc money there is no option it's very tough you know we are an outlier you know like zeroda zoho and all right i mean we are complete outliers you know it's very tough to build a large scale business like us bootstrapped you know we got extremely lucky in this journey multiple times it's 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 otherwise it's incredibly tough to build a large bootstrap business without raising vc money you know so so yeah so but do you really have to build a large business is a question you need to ask i mean why do you want to i mean like you know Like you know, there's a question I was asking someone in the morning. So, why do you want to build a hundred million dollar valuation? Mm. I mean, like a uh, pros and cons. Ten million, ten ten crores a year of profits, net profits, mm. or hundred million dollars of valuation with zero. I mean, with losses. What will you choose, right? So, that's the choice you make. Ten crores of profit a year is a great business. I mean, you can you can lead a very comfortable life through your life, but you won't get any of the acknowledgement which a 100 million dollar valuation company will get but you have money in the bank i mean really what matters in life is that right so but the 100 million dollar valuation guy has a lot of valuation has no money in the bank right so uh, yeah so it's 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 really a choice that you know you have to make you know so it's uh, 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 but yeah even if you take the vc money uh, i think uh it's important to i think jo entrepreneurs say i think one of the problems i've seen with most uh, entrepreneurs is that when they get vc money in they miss sell to vcs also over sell not really miss sell because the thing is if a, if i am investing in your business and i'm investing with the right expectation the relationship will also be much better right you know say for example you are a startup right as in you come to me and say nitin this is my business I think the target market is one crore Indians. I think I can be one la- one percent of this market. I can be a five crore revenue in say two or three years. And you say, you know what? I am valuing myself as fifty crores today, right? Very reasonable. I am coming with that expectation, knowing that you may be off by fifty percent, right? But if you come to me and you say, Nitin, and the same exact guy, you come to me and say, Nitin, I am building for hundred crore Indians. I am, you know. I'm potentially five billion dollars revenue in ten years. I will have you know you oversell to me and I I I invest into you. I am now expecting you to build a business like that, right? Now, and and if you don't meet it, I'll be disappointed, right? Or I'll start pushing you to build a business in a different way, right? So I think I think entrepreneurs do the mistake of overselling. It's it's like you know when you when you you know we shadi dot com pe you know if you go for a the first date. right you're overselling yourself right but do you really want to oversell yourself to your potential wife because the wife will be disappointed in in 3 months right i mean 
Now, do you want to have good first three months or do you want to have good 50 years with your wife? If you want to have good 50 years with your life, make sure you're, you know, on the first date, you're very honest about what you are, right? That way she is then happy, you know, she's getting married to you for the right reasons. But on the first date, you know, after Shadi.com, if you're going to oversell, she'll be disappointed quickly, right? As in, so I think, I, think, I think entrepreneurs also do that mistake in this hurry of wanting to raise money and at higher valuation, people miss sell, oversell, and it comes back to bite them, right? There is no getting away here. I mean, this is not, you take money, you know, it's not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. In the sense, you know, this is, this is a marriage, right? Once you take VC money, you're married to this person until your business exists. So it's, uh, um, um, yeah, so I, I think, you know, these are some of the things entrepreneurs should think about. In a sense. So, I also have a lot of comments. Like, we do this series, so I asked someone to ask me, I said, there is an opportunity loss to make this series. So, opportunity loss as in, I mean, I'm taking off, I'm coming here, and there is no traction like that, that 2 million, 3 million views will come, because our segment, the TGA, is relatively small. So, we can't earn so much from YouTube. And I don't want to say that, in the zero thaki video, I will add grow ki ad. Dal वो गलत बात है तो ये मैं ना स्पॉन्सर कर सकता हूँ ना मैं ज़्यादा ऑडियंस ट्रैक्ट कर सकता हूँ तो लॉजिकली मैंने किसी को बता दिया कि ये लॉस में किसी ने पूछा मुझसे तो कहीं पे वीडियो के अंदर मैंने बोल दिया लॉस के अंदर है तो लोग कहते हैं सर आप इतनी अच्छी चैरिटी का काम कर रहे हो आप यूनिकॉर्न बनोगे <laughs> मैंने कहा यह क्या लॉजिक है मैं अच्छा खासा मतलब ओवरऑल हमारी कंपनी प्रॉफिटेबल है पर ये सीरीज इज लॉस और मैं इसको लॉस नहीं लेता मैं इसको लेता हूँ कि मैं आपसे डेढ़ घंटे की फ्री कंसल्टेशन ले रहा हूँ तुम क्या कर रहे हो विच इज राइट इन दिस इज दैट यू आर बिल्डिंग अ बिजनेस विदाउट चेजिंग द आउटकम्स राइट अगर तुम आउटकम मुझे दो मिलियन व्यू चाहिए करके वीडियो बनाओगे वन इज यू कैन गेट डिसअपॉइंटेड वेरी क्विकली टू इज यू माइट डू सम स्टूपिडिटी राइट एज एन यू माइट जो वीडियो का यू नो यू माइट एडिटेड सच अ वे दैट I can say some, you know, जो जो क्लिक बेटी बना दक्ष बना सकते हो। I mean, as long as you're doing it, saying मैं जो भी करूँगा, I mean, I think I'll get, I'll, it'll be of use to me. It'll probably be use of use to some other people. And if it has to do well, it'll do well, right? I mean, if you go with this attitude, I think not just in making YouTube, but even when building business, I think you know, you see, at the end of the day, what's a business, right? Business is supposed to make life better for your customer in some form. Right? If you're not able to do it, you're not a business. Right? You are making video. I might say one line, which might help some person there. That means you made life useful for someone. As in, and that's a business. I mean, how much money it can become, what valuation it can, no one has control. I mean, our goal is to this series. That after five years, not after five years, the new age entrepreneurs will be the new age entrepreneurs. From that, fifty, sixty percent will say, "I saw this episode. From this, I did this." इस एपिसोड से मैंने ये किया मतलब मेरा अल्टीमेट गोल यही है कि ऐसा इम्पैक्ट क्रिएट हो पाए एब्सोल्युटली आई मीन लाइक इट्स एक्सर इट्स यू नो अगर मैं इस यहाँ पे हूँ तुमसे बात कर रहा हूँ तो द द द एक्सपेक्टेशन हियर इस जो मेरे लाइफ में कुछ है इफ इट्स ऑफ यूजफुल टू समवन एल्स आई शुड बी शे� putting things which are controversial sometimes, you know, uh, you know, I make some enemies by saying some of the things that I say, but, uh, but I think, I think, you know, people need to know that businesses can be built in different ways. You know, jo ye VC se paisa leke, you know, you know, spending a lot of money on cash, that's not the only way, you know, there are different ways to build business. And because we got very lucky with Zeroda ki, you know, we have a different story to say, I think the onus is on us to come and say that story, you know, I mean, we cannot be hiding and not talking about it, and, and uh, that's one of the reasons. I think you know we have a responsibility to come out and uh, you know talk about some of the things that have helped us. You know, so uh, this, this is how you know all of us think about it as well. And so. Thank you, thank you for your time. बहुत मजा आया और आप सबको thank you कि मुझे ये opportunity मिल पाई आप लोगों की वजह से कि मैं इनसे मिल पा रहा हूँ. मैं आपको बहुत time से follow करता हूँ और आप inspiration हो. मतलब India के अंदर मैं तीन inspiration कहता हूँ. एक मुकेश अंबानी जो कि अभी के रीचेबल नहीं है मैंने तो कभी आपको भी नहीं सोचा था क्या पता वो भी मिल जाए कभी दूसरा वेम्बोजी जोह थैंक्स 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 लॉर्ड तो फाइनली आप हमारी ऑडियंस के लिए क्या एडवाइस देना चाहोगे एक छोटी सी एडवाइस जो बिजनेस स्टार्ट करना चाहते हैं या करेंटली बिजनेस कर रहे हैं आई मीन जो स्टार्ट करना चाहते हैं देर इज अस इंग्लिश सेइंग 
before you go chop wood, sharpen your axe. Right? Mane, uh, you know, jo axe hai, if you go wood cut ke liye, before you cut ne se pehle, apna axe sharp karo. Which means, before you start a business, spend some time getting better in the, you know, wherever, whatever you're trying to build, you know, become knowledgeable, build on some skills, etc. Because uh, it's very tough. The chances of success is much, very less when you go try to build a business in something that you don't understand very well. I think Zeroda, you know, I think if I look back at Zeroda's journey, I think the biggest reason for success is the 12 years that went before Zeroda started into the markets. Right, my, you know, like, right, because over the 12 years, me, you know, there's a lot that I learned, which is what came into help when we started the business. Today, you know, people think of business at a coffee shop and they start without spending too much time, right? I think the first job is go find a job in that industry sector, build some, spend six months, one year, right? Uh, you know, try reaching out, you know, build a network of angels, you know, you know, if you have decided, right? Because it's not very easy to do it, and you know, you can't just pick up a phone and call people, right? Uh, so do all of that. So then your odds of success increases. In the last two, three years, it's a bubble. You know, it, what worked in the last two, three years will not work in the future for sure. Right? Because when liquidity, there's a dot-com boom. Right? What worked in 1998 till 2001 never worked any time ever. Right? So it's, it's the same thing. When the liquidity rush it will not work. So, yeah, so my advice is that you know, building a business is extremely tough. And so, you know, get better at it, uh, you know, in some form before you actually plunge into it, you know. So, jo business already kar rahe, I think, I think very important is, uh, you know, while it's very important for an entrepreneur to be optimistic, uh, it's also important to be in check, check with the reality, you know, in the sense, agar, because ye, jo business jab build kar rahe, ye opportunity cost hai, jase, so if you spend three, four years, on an opportunity that wasn't that you know conducive in any ways, now three four years you waste it, right? And and you probably potentially missed out on another opportunity somewhere, right? The problem is once you are running a business, uh, people t tend to become egoistic. You know, people don't want to accept losses, right? People like to throw bad money at good money. Uh, I mean, sorry, good money at bad money, right? As in, uh, I think it's very important when you're doing a business to at some point also to if things are not going well to you know be honest to yourself and say you know take that give it all you know do all of it right but eventually it's important to because most people pull the plug off when there is no option and that's really a bad decision you know you, if you're an entrepreneur you're a businessman you should be ready to adapt and adapt quickly right uh, you know, not wait until all the money is done and there is no other way to raise money to pull the plug off. That is not a smart businessman. If a current business is doing and it's stagnant, it's not growing, it's not growing. See, every business can't grow. You know, it's, 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 I mean, it's not possible. I mean, even Zerodha, right? Like, internally, we have said that we are not going to grow from here in the next two, three years. The revenue is we are most likely hit a plateau. So, because... Uh, you know, market is not big in India, mein, you know, so we are already a big portion of this, so it's very tough to grow from here, right? So, so it's okay to be stagnant, I mean, there's nothing wrong, but you need to be profitable and sustainable when it is stagnant. I mean, as long as you are able to do that, it's, it's completely all right. Now, if you're stagnant and you're losing money, then it's a problem. I mean, then it's one of those, you know, times when you have to sit down and think ki, <laughs> you know, so should I pull the plug off or not? But being stagnant is, is completely okay, you know, as long as you're profitable in this. So, first of all, thank you. No, cheers. Thanks. Thanks for having me on this. <laughs> so, with this, this video is finished. I hope you will enjoy it. Like, 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 share, like, whatever you have in the best section, put it in the description below. Bye, Gunesh Abhagar Khudafiz. Good morning, Rafun. Whenever you are watching this video.